So now that I got this beast, I have to make some filters for it. So the problem that I'm running into is that I plan on using several different cameras and lenses, and I'm not paying a bunch of money for filters for one setup. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be using Mylar sheets. Now I know that some people say don't, some people say do. I've seen some people have good success with them. I do plan to use a UV filter and also uh, neutral density filter, but this is how I'm gonna get around uh, cutting the light as much as possible uh, so that my sensor can handle it. And as I'm sure that most of you know, those solar filters are not cheap at all. And so the biggest problem for me is that if I'm gonna be using two or three different types of cameras to record this event, buying that many filters is just not an option. I mean, some of the cheapest ones available, Firecrest, those, I mean, they're still going for $159 to $200. And at this point, even if I wanted to buy them, they're all sold out everywhere. Whether that be Adorama, b &H, Amazon, they're all gone. So that means we have to improvise. So I'm pretty sure that most of you all know that under no circumstances are you going to be able to view the solar eclipse with just Mylar, okay? Now you can do it through your camera, but you cannot just hold Mylar up to your eyes and expect it to be okay. It's not gonna be enough. You could really damage your eyes if you try and do that. So if you don't already have a pair of solar glasses, I encourage everyone to still go to the event, go to a viewing party somewhere, wherever it ends up being, and go ahead and try to enjoy the solar eclipse and I guarantee you there's gonna be plenty of people in that area that's gonna have glasses either for sale or to share and I don't think that there's gonna be that many people that are not gonna be willing to share with you unfortunately I don't have that luxury since I am going to be uh, photographing and everything and videoing uh, with several different cameras I basically need a filter for every single item that I'm going to be using. So whether that be for my eyes so that I can experience it, because even though I'm gonna be photographing and, and videotaping the whole thing, I still want to experience the solar eclipse with my own eyeballs. There's no way that I'm going to only view it uh, through a lens. I mean, if I just wanted to experience it that way, um, there are plenty of photographs of solar eclipses from all over the world already online. I mean, I can just download the highest resolution ones, but this is an experience for you as, a, as an individual. You want to be able to photograph and experience the whole thing, be present, be in the moment, take it all in for yourself. Don't just depend on your camera gear to capture that amazing, amazing event for you. Take it in with your own two eyes as long as you have the proper eyewear. And another thing is that if you are planning to photograph and you haven't gotten your filters yet, there is a chance you can still get some filters um, for your lenses, but you have to understand the law of supply and demand because as of this moment right here, right now, uh, they are gouging. Every single company that I know of that I've checked out online has has started gouging. Like they have increased the price of like solar sheets and solar film. Something that was worth ten dollars uh, two months ago is now going for forty nine ninety five plus thirty three dollars in shipping. Like it's ridiculous. So don't be a sucker. Uh, you can use mylar on your cameras. Use a ND filter uh, after that, and then maybe use a UV filter. Um, but don't overpay for solar film. I mean, you can get by with Mylar and Mylar alone on your camera. Just not your eyeballs. So I think I got everything that I needed uh, to pull this off 
I don't know if it's actually going to work or not. I mean, I know that the part um, about holding the, the Mylar film together in between these two things, I think they're, that part's going to work just fine, but it's the other stuff that I have a bit of a concern with. So, I don't know. We'll see. Let's head on back to that house. So this is what I ended up making. Um, this is a piece of mylar from like one of those emergency space blankets. And what I did is I just laid it out just like that. And then I put painter's tape or gaffer's tape on each of the four corners so that I could keep it really, really secure uh, to, the, to the table. And then I bought these little, I don't know, they're basically just like little clear plastic uh, potting pots. So I cut the bottom of one off because I really, I just needed the lip and I didn't want anything to come uh, through the front. So you cut the bottom off and then I took super glue and I put it all around this, rip, this edge here. All right, and I just flipped it over and with this tightened up, you know, this is, it, it ends up being real, real tight. You place the center of it over a section that hasn't been folded yet. And then you just let it sit there and you, you let it dry. And then you just take a, a, a blade, cut all the way around it, snip it off, make sure that it's nice uh, and clean. And surprisingly enough, inside the Fujifilm's 100 to 400 uh, lens hood, this slid perfectly down inside. So easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So that's what I'm gonna use um, probably uh, for a couple of different types of shots. Uh, of course with the totality, you know, it's real easy. I just grab it, yank it out of there, and no problem. Um, and I'm also going to make a couple more of these, perhaps uh, with a different size, uh, to fit around the lenses of the other couple of cameras that I'm gonna be taking with me. I'm also gonna makeshift another one for my phone so that I can have this lens here protected as well. I think I'm gonna do just like a really long time lapse of the entire totality and make that happen. But like I said earlier, just remember that even if you've got protection here, that does not mean that you're gonna be able to look at the sun directly. So be sure that you have a really good set of solar eclipse glasses. I got this three pack from Daylight Sky. Um, this was actually from a reputable source. You know, a lot of other places claim that they're uh, legit. I just don't trust a lot of these Chinese companies. You know, say what you want, I just don't. But anyway, I used this earlier to take a couple test shots. I'm gonna throw those up on the screen for you right now. So there you have it, and there you go, guys. Uh, I hope this helps somebody out there if you have been kind of trailing behind or you just weren't able to uh, get one of your solar filters or maybe you just can't afford one uh, for this event. You know, all of those things are possible. Um, I hope this helped you guys out just a little bit. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for stopping here at the Photo Video Show. I'm your host, Mark Puckett, and I will see you guys again on the next one. Peace.